Hey, what's up guys? You're probably wondering what is Kyle and crew doing in the residential setting in a town because that's not a post frame. Uh, you would be correct. This is a house. I actually own this house. It was a investment property and we're doing a facelift on it. We're going to go ahead and tear off all this siding. It's got an aluminum siding and then underneath that it's got an old cedar siding and it's just not in the best condition. Believe it or not, LP Smart Side came to me about doing a project with them and they were looking for a great place to shoot that so I obliged win-win for everybody and we're gonna be removing this and installing an LP siding in general I hope that uh, it helps somebody out if you're thinking about doing a remodel project on your own property so this is just a nice little uh, maybe 1100 square foot two-bedroom home it's a great great little house in a nice little community we actually just removed a tree here which I didn't film but uh, so now it's really opened up the visibility of the house. Probably the biggest hurdle on this job specifically is going to be the windows. Uh, we're not replacing windows. We're gonna you know, use LP Smart Trim. It's not gonna be some monster build series. We're just gonna go ahead and do this. So let's get into it. Now, this is one of those instances where when you cover things with aluminum and you don't flash it properly, the water will funnel in and you might not know about it until it's too late, which is what happened here. Oh, that was extremely nasty. Uh, there's something about not knowing. Yes, I know, I should have a, I should have a mask on, I'm an idiot. Dang it. I don't have any masks. I might have to get some masks, maybe. But, huh? Do you have masks? See, now I'm safe. This is gonna protect me from anything that could be in the air. It's high quality. Well, you know, you guys always ask me about on my buildings, is there any permit process, inspections? Well, no, normally I don't do anything. However, here in the city limits, I just got hit by the, what I call the permit police. I mean, it's a building inspection and they're doing their jobs and I don't, I don't mind, that's fine. I didn't think I needed a permit for a siding replacement. I wasn't changing windows, I wasn't building a deck, nothing like that, but no big deal, doing it right. $30, about 10 minutes of my time, I went down to the city hall and got my permit. So here's a, I guess, public service announcement. Don't ever assume anything. If you're doing some work, maybe go to the city hall, the county zoning, whatever it is, and check and make sure you don't need a permit so you don't look foolish like I just did. This was kind of dumb. I'm getting out of here. Let me bring a ladder in. Yeah. What's the, how's it connect? What was that? I pulled on it. Hmm. What you're saying is I could be crushed. No. You're there to protect the door. Got this. Let's get rid of this. So, I'm so bad. What's that? I can go so wrong so fast. No. You can go so wrong so quick. 
Yeah, the step flag here. You wanna, you wanna just like, like accidentally light it on fire? Yeah, just like that. I don't know. Do you have enough insurance to cover your contents? Yeah, I got. I think I got like a hundred thousand. You got a hundred thousand worth of contents no. in there. <laughs> no. Your drums and your. No, I think I think I'm over insured for what I have in there, really. You got that nice roll ladder. Yeah. Got it. Yep. Okay. This is a sick ladder. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I think we're getting. It. Oh yeah, it's gonna fall. See, Zach, I'm good here, man. Go underneath this thing. And me and Greg will have one. You just need to like keep it from like going that way. Just hold it in the back. Yeah, it, 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 catch it and push it. Yeah, just don't hit my own. One, two, three, one, two, three. It's be a heavy one once it comes. You think? I think so. Okay, it now you're in a better down. position. Okay. Okay, I think we gotta get. I think we gotta get some like leverage to pull it this way. How about one second? You got it, Zach. Oh, frick me. Dude, there's like a 400 spike going in there. Or it's like a 400 <laughs> spike. <laughs> yeah. No. Yes, it's huge. <laughs> I need saws off. Saws off. We have to tear this off. I need saws off. Yeah, dude, it's a monster something. Man, be there's nails, dude. <laughs> Cut you up so bad, man. There's two of them. We don't wash them. Look at the. <laughs> All right, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to make the cut here. This rod is hopefully. Let's see what happens if I just jiggle it. Yeah, I think it's basically doing everything. So let's go ahead and cut it and just stand underneath it. See what happens. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> let's just see what happens, huh? I mean, we're not going to die here. This electrical way. wire that we don't know if it's on or off. Let's get that out of our way. No, it's off because remember it was buzzing. Before. Oh yeah. You ready? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I got a little bit of weight on my arm. I'm just joking. It's perfectly fine. Okay, now that should free us. Look at the number of washers they had. We'll worry about that later. Okay. Okay. We're going out those rods. We can make this. got to be something on top. Yeah, it is. Just let, let it, uh... <gasps> Can't. Yeah, we're catching some flashing. Those flashings are coming off. Okay, careful. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Nice. Look at that, dude. Isn't that crazy? It must be. You like combust right through the wall. Okay, we'll just cut those off and bury them. Nice, dude. I think we're probably at a good time to start cleaning everything up. Yeah, I think so. Now we're back here on day number two. Yesterday we spent the afternoon tearing off the old siding. There was two layers. We had an aluminum siding layer and then we had a cedar siding layer. And I'm really glad that we tore that all off because now we're finding more stuff. And that is just the case with a remodeled job. First off, we've got a Celatex sheeting, which normally I would say, you know, if you're just gonna install some vinyl, probably okay. You're gonna get by with leaving it there if it's in good shape. 
However, not all of this is in great shape. We also are finding that there's no insulation in the wall cavities. So now the question is, uh, well, it's not really a question. We're making a determination. We're gonna have to tear all of the Celotex off, add insulation, and obviously I would love to just get a spray foam guy in here and spray foam the cavities, but I am under some sort of a pretty tight time commitment because in just a few short days, I got about, you know, nine or 10 people flying in here to do some installation videos for LP. I think what we're gonna do is tear this off, put some, uh, it's gotta be three quarter because of the way the windows are, three quarter sheeting after we insulate, and then we can house wrap and get back to work. But uh, man, remodeling jobs. Just when you think you're gonna go in and it's gonna be easy, it never is. It never stops ringing, which is a good thing. I must say this sure feels backwards, tearing off a building versus, uh, or tearing off the building's exterior versus putting it up. But we're making our way around and haven't found too many surprises. The only real issue I got is this uh, electrical service coming in. So we kind of left it alone just detached it from the wall. Everything is good, don't worry guys. I'm not a licensed electrician, but I do play one on TV. So now that we've got all of the siding and sheeting and everything removed, really it's just as much as we're gonna go around, we're gonna make sure the wall is clear of any debris, nails, um, you know, anything we missed. And we're just gonna try to get it as clean as possible because hopefully tomorrow the goal is to either, we're either gonna wait, we might spray foam these wall cavities, I don't know. We're gonna, we're gonna see what happens, see what the cost is. Uh, or we're just gonna go ahead and put some sheeting right over the studs and come back in and drill holes and then loose or dense pack, probably a cellulose or some insulation material in the wall cavities after the sheeting is back up. And then we're gonna cross your fingers, we're working on trying to make it happen to get all new windows in here as well and just, you know, do it right, do it as good as possible from the first get go. And then we'll get some good sheathing on the house so that way we get a nice solid flat surface to install LP. Um, we want to give it the best opportunity possible to not have any waves in it and just look money because it's a great product and I want the building or this house in this case to look good. <laughs> 